Outdoors. Today we're going to talk about motorcycles and is it for you? Uh, there's a few things you have to consider or that most people should consider before even uh, thinking about getting a motorcycle. Uh, one of the most important things I think is actual driving experience and or previous riding experience. Uh, you have to consider you know how long you've been driving, uh, how many accidents have you had, how many tickets have you had, uh, because there are different things that happen uh, during your life, you know, based on age, uh, based on your physicality, uh, and your mental health also, uh, that determine if the motorcycle is even for you. Uh, one of the things that helps out uh, with deciding uh, if motorcycle riding, depending on what type it is, it doesn't matter. Uh, are you mature enough? I mean, you have some kids that start riding at four, you have other people who start riding at 50. I mean, it's really a person to person uh, thing. Uh, the other thing uh, that's pretty important is based on the type of riding you're going to do, are you physically able to do it? Uh, because if you were going to be uh, doing just cruising, I mean, it doesn't take a lot of effort, you know, it just uh, requires that you, you know the technical skills of riding, but if you're going to be doing something uh, enduro riding or motocross riding or dirt bike riding, I mean, you, you don't really want to do that unless you're physically able to do it. So, do you have the patience to uh, put up with different situations as far as uh, traffic jams, construction, accidents, I mean, it, it all comes into play. Uh, one of the things uh, that I thought about is preparation before even uh, getting a bike. Uh, for me, it was, you know, talking to my family, talking to some of my friends who actually rode uh, before, but for me, one of the most important things was talking to my spouse uh, because it was something I couldn't just decide I'm going to do on my own you know I had to actually sit down and you know discuss the process of me uh, getting a motorcycle budgeting for a motorcycle uh, things of that nature also when talking to your spouse and your friends and your family uh, some of the other things uh, you need to consider is the actual costs and enjoyment of riding a motorcycle. Not everyone uh, can afford to have a motorcycle as a hobby, as a you know, second or third car, you know, based on you know the cost of uh, the protective gear, the maintenance, uh, the insurance. I mean, all of that comes into play. Uh, one of the things that uh, I think is important if you're going to think about uh, getting a motorcycle is you need to do the research based on the country you live in, the state that you live in, uh, the type of riding you're going to be doing, uh, because it's uh, it's very hard to justify uh, an expense like a motorcycle when you factor in all the costs with it. If it's just going to be something that you know you may be doing you know once a month or twice a month uh, with the uh, expenditure expenditures that come with it. Uh, for me, uh, I. I knew this was going to be something that I was going to be using it as a form of transportation uh, on a regular basis so it was outweighing the cost of having you know a, a full-size SUV and all the costs that come with that. It's much more fuel efficient to have a motorcycle. Uh, one of the, the tools that everybody uses uh, to do their research obviously is the internet. Uh, you have tons of YouTube videos uh, it's just a, a valuable source to, you know, sit down for an hour, hour and a half, and you know, have all that information right there at your fingertips. Um, once you actually factor in all, you know, the the deciding factors, whether it be, you know, the the weather that you're in, the type of rider you're going to be doing, and you decide, you know, this might might be something that you want to try. Uh, test the waters. Uh, if you have uh, family members or friends who actually do the same type of riding you want to do, whether it be uh, enduro, 
motocross, cruisers, sports bikes. Uh, ask them to, you know, take you along, get on the back of a bike, or you know, go on a trail, or uh, something that you can do to see if you even like being on the bike. Uh, also, it's very important that you uh, make sure that you know the legal requirements for whatever type of riding you're going to be doing. Uh, I know uh, in Europe it's all based on age and uh, the type of motorcycle you can buy and budget and everything else. We're here in the States. If you know you can afford a bike, you know you don't have to start off with something smaller. You can jump in to you know a 500, 600 liter bike or you know whatever bike you want to get. So that that's another consideration on the type of riding that you're going to be doing. If you're in a country you know that doesn't have any uh, laws or legal requirements for you to go you know motocrossing or dirt bike riding or anything like that. Then you know that's something that make it easier for you to uh, get into motorcycling. Uh, that's going to be it for right now. I got another part coming up. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.